Oh my gosh, Rue! Rue, I am so proud of you! Not for grabbing the object, but look, you guys! We have another egg! Another dog egg, in fact. Uh, so let's just go ahead and collect that. And good job, Rue! I am so proud of you! Oh my gosh. That means we can have even more wobble dogs, you guys! And speaking of which, hello everyone, and welcome back to our wobbly little world here with our wobble dogs. It seems like Rue and Squirtle are actually getting along pretty great here which is freaking adorable we're gonna give them both some pets so that hopefully they can be having a grand time and then let's actually go ahead and check in on all of our other wobble dogs i'm gonna catch my breath for a second and we are going to survey the mass chaos that is oh i thought this was one of our wobble dogs for a second but it's just one of the toys <laughs> And then we are going to survey the mass chaos that happens to be our um, our current Wobble Dog home. I feel like there's a lot of cleaning we actually need to do. I mean, technically having a den filled with dirt and a bunch of holes that hopefully the dogs will dig in. That I absolutely adore. We now have a graveyard going on over here. And then over here we have got like our little experimental room. I mean, there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. And there's still more that we need to do so that we can really start focusing on unlocking all of these different achievements because the more that we unlock the more we can mix and match that dna and the gut biomes of our wobble dogs which means oh my gosh celery that's a really good sit good sit you look so cute doing a good sit <gasps> celery you just laid a capsule good capsule layer praise praise for the capsule layer oh my gosh did Okay, I, I apparently just praised you for sneeing too. Celery, good boy! Celery the second, that is! Tech wall too! Sweet! So we could put in another tech wall here, and I think that Cat is actually stuck. You guys, Cat the puppy has gotten itself stuck. Alright, come here, Cat. Also, I have to say that Cat is cracking me up because I was looking at Cat just a second ago. Guys, Cat, I think totally oh what the heck oh, celery good dig good dig all the praise for digging all of the praise for digging i want to be able to get you guys to dig even more oh my gosh oh, celery did you just dig up a colorful ball can, can they do that can they just like dig up colorful balls that is so cool also who's this oh tiny the second hi oh no 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 we don't want to praise you for barfing oh Oh dear. All right, well, I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, Celery, good digging! Good digging! I'm so proud of you. We're gonna keep praising. Keep praising for the digging. Good job! Oh my gosh, that is so cool! Oh, okay, we're gonna have to absolutely fully train up that behavior because I want them to be able to dig. We actually have dig 50 holes and then we unlock what seems to be a tree, which I would adore. Is, wait, is that really a tree reward? <gasps> is that really? Oh my gosh, Celery, Celery, please, please, I beg you, dig all of the things. I will be so proud of you if you dig all of the things. Oh, also, good job, Tiny the Second. I'm really proud of you for um for figuring out how to go ahead and come on over and uh, get something to eat. Very, very proud. All right. Oh, and there's some poop to clean up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, clearly there's a lot to keep us super busy with all of our wobble dogs, you guys. And I am so glad that you guys are loving them just as much as I do. And I am so excited because... <gasps> Tiny the Second! What the heck? I didn't think you were that old, Tiny the Second. How did that happen? You haven't even had time to like really do much. Here, go ahead and eat this. Eat, eat, eat this little honeycomb. Do you have some jeans? I guess you might have some jeans we might want to pass on. Maybe we'll have Tiny the Second and Rue the Second, or Rue actually have some babies and that might turn out to uh, produce something kind of interesting. Tiny, I didn't know that you were that close to, to the end days. I'm so sorry. Oh, look at you. Look at you! I've had so much fun with you! See, I'm distracted already, guys. I was gonna tell you, so we're gonna try to unlock more achievements, we're going to try to clean up, and because we are doing daily wobble dogs to celebrate how much you guys are loving this and how kind and wonderful you've been to me helping out our pixel biology community with your comments and your your likes the comments and likes on videos are actually what help them be exposed to more people and the more we get our wobble dogs shown off to more people for our laboratory experiments uh the more siri gets to like actually have food to eat in real life and i deeply appreciate it so thank you guys keep it up and we will continue on with our daily wobble dogs and i think we might start coming 
coming up with like a cool schedule where we're actually going to we're actually going to go ahead and we are going to see if we can come up with a schedule so we actually spend maybe one day a week or so or one day every few episodes cleaning up uh and tidying up the chaos that has been happening maybe we'll spend one day really focusing on trying to get achievements and i hope friends we will have at least a couple days a week if we keep up daily wobble dogs and if not just every few episodes where we are going to be adding in your wobble dogs so many of you guys I've been sending wobble dog codes to my fan mail account which i love thank you so much it's mail for siri at gmail.com uh siri s-e-r-i not like siri the phone trust me when i'm visiting my family and they have iphones and everyone's like siri i'm like constantly confused i'm like am i having an identity crisis right now no it's just my family using their iphones <laughs> but uh cat how did you get yourself stuck again i am deeply impressed by that you are indeed stuck once more uh, but that is what I'm kind of hoping for as a plan is that we're going to have lots of wobble dogs We'll spend some days cleaning. We'll spend some days doing achievements We'll spend some days just running around with the chaos and we will start going ahead and having some days where we will be Importing your dogs. We'll have our patrons dogs We already have a mystery dog that I want to show you guys if not today then very soon from one of our wonderful patrons Ren who has been a member of our community for so long and she I mean come on her name is Ren I love I love the bird Ren uh, but she's been supporting us for a long time and she has a mystery dog for us to import and then also I want to add in like a fan dog um, from just like the fan mail stuff at least if not once a week every few days we'll figure it out we'll figure it out but I just wanted to tell you guys our wobble dog plans uh, I also want to come over here and praise celery for the noms and then let's go ahead and let's actually have Rue and tiny the second have a baby because Rue is like really awesome with the random legs and then we're gonna kind of catch our breath and figure out what we want to do next all right not celery the second we want Rue with the fluffy tail and the six legs and then we want to go ahead and Tiny the second, I don't really know what they've been up to other than having like kangaroo legs, but I like Tiny the second. So let's go ahead and do this. If Tiny the second isn't going to have much longer with us, I want to be able to remember them. The Adago! The Ad oh my gosh, they're so short! Oh my goodness, this is so cute! Okay, okay, I do want like, maybe we can go for like a Corgi-esque dog. We'll have to figure that out. Oh my gosh, that dog's legs are like folding like a, some sort of like folding chair or origami table thing. Can you walk? I want to be careful. I want to try to get dogs that can walk, but we'll we'll need to use a little bit of caution here. All right, let's go ahead and we'll try these two. And we're going to be celebrating Tiny the Second's life. Oh, look how cute. Oh my gosh. We've got very, very short dogs with very short tails right there. That's cracking me up. Here, we'll work with those two short dogs because I kind of love the idea that Tiny the Second's going to start a corgi line. All right, let's see. And let's see how wacky we can get it. We're getting more yellow coloring here. Oh, look at that bright green snout. But I do have, oh, look at that sass. He just bit the tail of the other dog. What are you doing, you sassy thing? Here, we'll go ahead and go for the one that has, like, green ears and nose. And then we're going to see if we can push the stability of this simulation as far as we can take it. We do want to try to keep the tails, though. So there's only two puppers right now that have the tails. None of them have... There's one of the green markings, though. Here, we'll go for the green marking, too. We're going to try to keep the tail. We already lost the six legs, I think. And we're actually breeding bunny dogs! Did you see the way that they're starting to just use their back legs to hop? Okay, that's kind of amazing. Alright, so there's one bunny dog. Oh, this one has a really big nose! Oh my gosh, they are bunny dogs! <laughs> they're just like hopping around with their back legs. I love that. Oh, I love this so much! I am so glad you guys like it too. Every day is a little different. I guess, I guess it's fine. This is our new, one of our new mini ways that we're going to be, um, the mini, there are many ways that we're going to be working with new experiments with our Labarcatory after all, because we also have Let's Build a Zoo, which does crossbreeding of zoo animals. 
Uh, and we have our laboratory series. So now we're just gonna spend some days here too. If it's not organized, that's fine. Chaos is kind of our middle name at this point. Creative chaos, but chaos nonetheless. All right, let's see. I like this guy. He's got energy and spunk. And then we'll do this guy. All right. Also, a lot of you guys have been so good at noting when I miss like really cool looking dogs when we're doing these crossbreeding experiments. So I'm gonna start looking a little bit more carefully because I know I've been driving some of you guys wild by going so fast I missed like some really cool dogs with extra legs and things like that. You know, let's keep going for this like short dog. I wanna bring back in the feeling of shortness, but I also, okay, actually that is a short dog, good. I really want to get like the the bunny hopped dogs. They, they're really cool. Okay, getting a little bit bigger here. We're not really getting as much variation as I thought. Oh, this one has a yellow face. Yeah, let's work on yellow faces and bunny hops. <gasps> pink legs, pink legs, you guys. Is this gonna be a pink leg bunny hop? Hello, little one! Is that how I want to remember Tiny the second? Oh my gosh, look at this dog just grabbing the butt of the other one and yoinking him around. All right, let's go ahead and try this one and this one. Come on, pink. All right, we've got more pink, and now we have pink with a tail. I wonder if I should call it here, because I like the pink with the tail. I do, and it's got good bunny hops, so it can actually kind of get itself around a little bit. Um, but you know what? Let's, uh, we're gonna push it just a little bit further. Uh oh, we're getting low. We're getting low. All right, let's try this. All right, one last time. Oh no! The tail is gone! <laughs> All right, tiny the second. I'm sorry, I should have stopped while we were ahead, but now we have a very tiny head to remember tiny the second. All right, so we kind of have a bunny dog that's gonna hop around and this is gonna be like tiny, I guess tiny the third? Well, there you go, tiny. I, I have now created another baby. Oh, I forgot it. we have all these other babies we need to go ahead and hatch too. Uh, but we'll have tiny the third hopefully hatched right now so that we can kind of keep the tiny line going on. And tiny, meanwhile, is there anything we want to go ahead and feed you? Uh, maybe some french fries? What have I not fed? Chicken nuggets, ham... What does the burrito do again? Let's see, burrito gives these kinds of genes. Thick body, short legs. I mean, that does kind of go with the corgi-esque thing we're trying to do here. Um, let's see. And then we've got chicken nuggets. What do the chicken nuggets do again? Because Tiny, when you pass away, I want you to be able to pass on some DNA. Makes you little! Let's give it to Tiny. I do want some DNA to be able to be passed on when Tiny passes. So let's come over. Tiny, go ahead and eat this. Here, you come, you come eat this, eat this chicken nugget. Oh, good job. So proud. Oh, positive reinforcement. <gasps> really? Tiny, you fulfilled a, a achievement for us before the end. Wait, Bronto? <gasps> That's a new dog. That's a new dog, Tiny. I think that you may have just ended up welcoming- We have a new dog that happens. He's a social, polite, peaceful dog. What the heck? Pronto, come out here, Pronto. And we're gonna actually go ahead. Here's Tiny the Third. Oh my gosh, Tiny the Third is so tiny. Oh my goodness, I love them. All right, hang on. All right, Tiny the Third, okay. Oh my goodness. And Pronto, welcome! We're gonna have to go ahead and have Tiny the, the second and Pronto maybe have a pup together because there seems to be a different kind of tail on this dog! This is so exciting! And look at little Tiny the third! Oh my gosh! Tiny the third, you are absolutely precious. Here, do you want to come over here so I can see you maybe in the, in the sunlight? You are so small. You're a little bunny. Okay, I really love him. Can you walk? There's, there's a pot here. here. Maybe if I pick you up and gently put you down. Um, there we go. This feels less like the usual, usual horrors against, um, horrors against humanity because this little, this little one, you can walk. Good. We're fine. Here, do you want to sit? 
Do you want to learn how to sit? <gasps> Good job! And some of you guys have told me if you teach your pup how to sit, then they actually go ahead and they will lay you more eggs. So we're going to try that out too. <gasps> no, Tiny! All right, guys. Um, um, we're going to meet back over here. All right, Tiny the second. Whew. All right, we're going to meet back here, uh, over here next time so we can go ahead and breed the last of the babies that Tiny the second is going to have with its kangaroo legs with Pronto here. And we'll see what kind of mysterious DNA is going to be popping out next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Tiny the second and Tiny the third. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.